so today I'm going to be doing another gadget review. This time it is the Thermoclear, which is a device that is supposed to be used for getting rid of pimples faster than if you did nothing to them. Or for me, in my case, if you just use like an acne gel on it, which are supposed to dry them out. They don't really do much for me. So, uh, stay tuned to find out what I think about the Thermoclear. So I tend to have a lot of gadgets in the bathroom. Uh, I have a Clarisonic. You saw the split ender already. I have the Thermoclear. I have an electric epilator and an electric toothbrush. So I'm sure the list will just keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, but this one in particular, I think, this is one of my first electronic gadgets, and it really seems to make a difference uh, to my skincare routine. So, how it works is, take off the cap, uh, you just turn it on, and you can see it's got a little indicator for the power level. I like to leave mine on low, unless I'm feeling particularly masochistic because it does uh, does have a bit of pain when the heat uh, actually makes contact with your skin so it takes a few seconds to charge up and now it's all charged up then you just like find a spot Oops. Uh, and then you just push the button and just hold it to your skin for a few seconds and then it starts charging up again. So you see I like totally freak out and blink when I'm about to use it. Uh, that one didn't really hurt at all. It's just I'm used to, you, I used to always keep it on high and that sort of things a bit. So I'm just sort of like in the habit of bracing myself for the pain. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't really hurt at all. Um. So if if you do keep it on high uh, and you're wondering what that pain feels like, it's sort of like I've uh, read online other people compare it to having like a rubber band and then like pulling it and flicking it against your skin, which I think is pretty accurate. That's sort of what it feels like. Uh, otherwise, it's like if you take a hot iron and you just like touch it against your skin for a second, uh, it doesn't really hurt, but you sure know it's hot and touching your skin. I guess you sort of feel it a few seconds after it's already left your skin. One of the benefits of this particular acne zapper is that you don't have to worry about replacing the head uh, every 30 uses or whatever it is for the Xeno or Zeno or whatever that machine is. Uh, this one, you are supposed to replace it like once a year. Uh, the website probably recommends like every six months, but I've definitely had mine more than a year. Definitely less than two years. Uh, and I haven't replaced the head yet. It's still working fine. Uh, occasionally I'll just like wipe it off with some rubbing alcohol just to clean it up. Uh, but I probably should replace it pretty soon. Uh, the replacement heads cost $20. Uh, which is pretty reasonable if you compare it to the Xeno heads, Xeno heads, uh, comparing, because those ones only, those ones only let you use it like 30 charges or whatever before you have to replace them again. This one has nothing like that. Pretty much unlimited uses. The whole thing costs $150, which is pretty steep. Uh, it just runs on double A's. And of course it comes with the first head free. And uh, if you live in the United States, they do have free shipping, which is kind of cool. Okay, get it back in. There we go. Uh, so yeah, it is pretty pretty expensive. But if you do have a lot of uh, acne, and you're not quite a teenager anymore like me, uh, it can be pretty embarrassing. So having something that will pretty much guarantee them to go away pretty fast is... I think it's pretty worth it. So one of the downsides to using a product like the Thermoclear is unlike like face washes or face masks, I guess, it won't actually prevent your pimples 
performing it'll just get rid of them after you already feel them coming on so I read that it works best uh, right after you start to notice one coming so like a new pimple but I use one even on the old ones uh, anything that's got a bump, basically, I will use it until it's totally flat. Uh, and it will leave, like, a little red spot where the pimple used to be for, uh, maybe a week or two. Depends on your skin, I guess. But the good thing about the red spot is it's totally flat, so it's a lot easier to conceal than an actual zit, where you have to worry about, like, the concealer sticking to the zit and looking all dry and bumpy. So I definitely prefer the the benefit of using something like the Thermoclear to doing nothing at all. And honestly, I've tried like clear, clear and clean uh, spot treatments. Like I've tried a bunch of them, a Neutrogena one. They really didn't do anything. I'm sure they dried out the skin and they stung a lot. Uh, but it didn't really help me get rid of my pimples. Whereas this one, I definitely noticed that they'll go away. Uh, my funny little story I like to tell is, after I got it, I was getting a pimple on my nose. And so my mom was like, why do you always buy those things? Such a rip-off. Uh, but I used it on my nose because I showed her. And then the pimple went away, like, overnight. And I was like, ha-ha. But they don't all go away overnight, so I just got lucky that time. Some of them will last a few days, and you have to do it. Usually I just do it once a day. It says you can use it up to like twice a day. You don't want to like burn your skin by overusing it. But yeah, I use it about once a day. And that seems to do the trick. So overall, I would give this product four stars out of five. Uh, half a star coming off for the cost, but most gadgets like this, they are quite costly. So... You have to think of it sort of as a long-term investment instead of just using, like, a whole bunch of, like, $20 creams. <laughs> it should add up. And I guess if you keep them for a long time, if they don't die on you, it could be a worthwhile investment. And the other half a star is just for the pain. Um, it is kind of a bad feeling. And I, like, I think I'm pretty tough. I, like, wax my legs and armpits and I pluck my eyebrows like it's nothing uh, but this it does make me cringe and I do have to like force myself to actually push the button to make it work but for the results that I get with it I'm really satisfied so I would definitely give it thumbs up so thanks for watching another review uh, hopefully I'll do a few more I'm not really sure where these are going sort of random so thanks. Bye.